Coming to you once again from Pelican Headquarters in Flagami, Miami, Florida. Welcome to another uh, Friday uh, RV chat live. A happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Happy Friday. And uh, here we are. Um, one more time uh, enjoying this chat today. We might cut it a little bit short. I, I do have a date. Uh, but uh, yeah, happy Valentine's to all of you. Let me read the chat here a little bit. I have a couple of um, announcements I want to say uh, before we before we get started. I uh, I wanted to show you. I went by the PO box and I forgot to show you guys this last week. This is a, a, a book that was sent to me by um. I mean, and she sent me this uh, nice postcard by uh, by Chris uh, Chris Olison. And um, this is a, a trip. It's a the Yom Muir Trail, 1959. One family, one month, 200 miles. And uh, 1959. And I I love to see color pictures from from you know the 50s. And uh, it's beautiful. And the Yom Muir Trail, of course, I was very close. As, as she sent me a nice, a very nice letter as well, uh, Chris Olison. And um, and I forgot to show it to you guys last week. Actually, I, I had it last week. So I wanted to, to show you guys that with a nice um, bookmark. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start reading it uh, very soon here the the book and um, John Muir Trail of course that's uh, I was very close to it in uh, when I visited Bishop California. Here I have a a, a very nice postcard from uh, Alina Ostrowska and um, with a very nice gift that was inside that. It's no longer inside because I already used it. But thank you, thank you so much, Alina, if you're watching. And um, and I have one more here, and this uh, gentleman, Glenn Fritsch, I am a, a former neighbor of ours. Actually, he he lived here in Miami, and he sent me a very nice, uh, uh, very detailed letter. And um, and yeah, thank you so much uh, for 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 that letter. And the one last announcement. Let me show you what I have here. That's the new CD. It has uh, it arrived a couple of days ago. The back is the same, but inside is a brand new picture. And uh, basically, I divided this this time. I divided the CD between oldies, like CD one is oldies, which is everything I composed pretty much from 2008 until 2014. And the disc, disc two, I called it Newbies, and it's from 2015 to till 2020, more or less, give or take. And um, it's not exactly chronological, but for the most part, it is. So um, if you guys, guys want to check it out, uh, travelingrobert.com slash merch, and, um, and I'll send it to you guys. And uh, today, since it is Valentine's Day, I'm drinking red wine, some Hess collection from California, very nice uh, red blend. So cheers, everybody. Yeah, this is the good stuff. The tannins are like there, right there, kicking. Let me read some of your comments here, since um, uh, that's what we're here for, right? To 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 chat a little bit and and, uh, and share what you what we've been doing for the past week uh, in the process already of planning the Alaska trip. That's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, Andy K, waiting for something new to come out now. Well, Sunday, every Sunday. This Sunday, you're going to get a 45-minute video about uh, the California Redwoods. <clears throat> and I'm already editing the Oregon Coast, which is uh, going to be beautiful as well. Um, driving to the East and heading home from Road Trip Buddy. All right. And hello, Christopher Olson. And Andy K, have you ever gotten on the road and needed to turn around and it was difficult to do so with Mini Tini more than once? And yeah, but I still I still do it. I still uh, go into places where I probably shouldn't. <laughs> From beautiful, cold and beautiful Anchorage, Alaska. Well, yeah, An Anchorage, Alaska. And uh, one day, one, one day I want to go in the winter just to, to experience uh, what is that? And uh, to experience that, uh, that, that it, you know, when, when the, that area just north of the Arctic Circle where it, you know, it's, it's nighttime um, all the time. Uh, Moose yesterday just to walk in in the middle of the road. What happened? It's 11 degrees and sunny. 
Well, here in South Florida, it's kind of it's kind of warm, kind of hot. In the mornings, it's very pleasant. In the low seventies, um, probably high sixties. Uh, low seventies. This morning was low seventies, but in the afternoon, yeah, it's. Uh, Hello, Dylan, Dylan Reynolds and Sander Shap. Sander Shap. Are any meetups planned in April? Uh, coming to Florida all the way from Holland. Nothing planned yet, but we might we might do something in April. Uh, it would have to be uh, probably early April because late April I'm gonna be very very uh, busy with the with the planning the um, uh, the Alaska trip. All right, all that was before my tech difficulties. Uh, uh, so let, let me just read uh, here real quick, everybody. Very uh, happy Valentine's to all of you who who uh, uh, returned my happy Valentine's. Um, negative four in Michigan. Oh my gosh! Driving to Alaska. Check out See More Bats State Park. See More Bats State Park. I'm gonna uh, add it right now to my map because I don't. If I don't add it right now, I'm gonna forget. And where's I? I know. I know. I have a. You know what happens? Um, Google Maps uh, changed the icon, and now I can never uh, find it. <laughs> How can I uh, copy and paste here? Hmm. Google can't find it. See more bots. No, Google can't find it. I don't know. I'm going to try later. In any case, uh, more bots. Uh, okay, greetings from Norway. All right, Tom Christian Gusterud and Dylan Reynolds. Uh, is Warby online? No, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do Warby today. We can, we, I'm kind of pressed up for time in a sense. I'm, I'm going to make this like half an hour, 40, 40 minutes at the most. Uh, so I'm going to concentrate on answering your questions here on the, on the chat. Uh, I don't really have it set up right now, so um, I mean I could just open a tab and and and, and set up that that screen here on the uh, on the on my OBS uh, broadcaster. But uh, Robert, don't forget your bear spray and mosquito repellent when going to Alaska. Mosquito repellent for sure. I had I, the last time I was there, I didn't bring my repellent, but this time I will. And. Um, and my bear, bear spray, I mean, I have the bear spray is actually inside mini tini. I have to um, make sure I take it out. So, um, Aaron Romano. Oh, uh, well, the, I got a super chat. So, the, 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 the chat got reset. So, if I missed your message, please forgive me. Type it again and I'll read it. Uh, thank you, I Rojas, for that super chat. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. And we'll see. Do you have lots of problems pulling mini with... Um, with Kia, with Kia, I just had to be careful. Like if if I, I had to, I had to be watching that temperature gauge. That that was the main thing with with old Kia. And in flat terrain, for the most part, I never had a problem as long as I kept it slow. When when I try to push seventy, it would tend to overheat even on flat terrain. And of course, in the mountains, and yeah. Our country living. Thank you so much for that super chat. Happy Valentine's Day to you and Illy. Thank you so much. And Perro Diablo 57. Come to Texas and visit Los Maples and Garner State Park. Some believable beauty. Los Ma Lost Maples. I'm going to check out Los Maples. And ooh, this thing is moving. Oop. Maybe I shouldn't. I should just type it instead of copy and pasting, huh? <laughs> Where in Texas are we here in Lost Maples? Oh, and there's a winery nearby, according to this. Is it? Lone Star Motorcycle. Oh, it's just west of San Antonio, so it's like in, kind of like in hill country. Okay, and the, this Mac is kind of slowing down on me here you know i'm still using it's, it's what works best for these videos i'm using my old my eight-year-old mac it still works well and uh, at some point uh i might get a, a a newer mac because for the music i need uh, that i haven't haven't been able to find anything that matches uh, logic pro all right let me oh the chat is going so fast let me go back a little bit here just to a uh, a Alaska winter 2023-24, maybe. 
uh, Dylan, uh, going places, buddy, the guy is saying, see more. Ooh. So I, I just got trolled. Okay. Hello, Robert from Oregon. Oregon, beautiful state. I, I, I'm, I'm editing the Oregon Coast video right now. And yep. And uh, thank you, Carmen Rodriguez. Marzon Worldwide. Uh, okay. There you go. Uh, <laughs> what? What's your plan trip from Florida to Alaska from Joey Dombish? I, I, the, the, the idea is to, to just to, to go uh, pretty much straight line to Kansas City, which is one of like probably one of the last uh, main United States cities that I haven't set foot on. Yeah, of course, there's Salt Lake City, there's Dallas, there's a bunch of them, but uh, this is one of the ones that I really want to visit, Kansas City. And from there, north to North Dakota, and then I'm going to go across uh, North Dakota and uh, Montana. Uh, I'm going to see what I can see on Glacier National Park and then go into Canada, into the Canadian Rockies. And uh, I'm going to go up the... The, uh, the Alcan, the Alaska Highway. And then on my way back, I'm going to do the, the top of the world. And then uh, there's a junction. And then I'm going to come back through the Cassiar. That's the idea anyway. Road trip, buddy. Thank you so much for that super chat. You should perform at Wrigley Field uh, this summer. Hey, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm, not, you know I'm, I'm not performing all that much anymore. So... Uh, mm. Okay, let me see if I missed a... I missed a lot. Uh, I'm sorry if I missed your... As soon as you come back by the Asheville area, I want to meet up with you. And the, probably on the way back from Alaska, I'm going to go to the Asheville area. Uh, an old friend of mine, Roberto Gomez, he's the, the, the band uh, manager, leader, and uh, and director. He, his family just moved there, and he's, he's, he's living there part-time, part-time there and part-time in Miami. So I, I might go visit him. He's, he lives near Asheville, so yeah. Um, we have a super chat, Perro Diablo 57. Thank you so much for that super chat. And uh, hey, Lucky Dog uh, Productions moderators and traveling Buckeyes. Uh, and uh, Aaron Roma can find the new music. Is the melody of Driving to the East the same melody as Driving to the West? No, it's not. And the music, if you're if you're looking for it on Spotify or you know online, that's gonna be available probably next week. I I, I uploaded it yesterday. And they take, it, it depends, Apple takes longer, you know, they, depending on the service, they take longer or shorter to to release it, but it, it is released, it's going to be an album, it's going to look just like this, digitally, and it's going to have 50 tunes with everything. Um, do you have to waterproof, reseal your camper every year? I've, I've been, uh, uh, I, you know, I, I visually inspect it uh, once in a while, periodically, and the the only the only the only time it started kind of leaking was through one of the light fixtures in the front you know the ones on the top and i put some silicone there and it seems to um to be good so uh but yeah i do inspect it and if, if something looks uh, funny i'll reapply dicor for sure uh, steven fisher hi robert have you seen the northern lights during all your travels no and i and the, the idea is to, to try to stay uh, up north long enough so one of those nights it gets dark and maybe i'll get to see them Uh, hello, Robert. Same for IPA. How's your Colorado truck? Colorado's doing fine. It's doing fine. For a 40,000 mile truck, it's doing fine. Uh, Marson Worldwide, uh, you're bringing rogue greetings for you. That the YouTube algorithms are working for you since you gained 1,000 per week over the last two weeks. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. Uh, obviously, we're doing something right. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad we're, you know, it's. Um, what can I say? Uh, I'm really happy that we reached that hundred thousand. And uh, by the way, they, they haven't said anything about, anything about sending me that. You know that I'm gonna put it right there, that silver play button. But they say that it, it can take uh, even months. So I'm gonna give them some time. Hopefully before Alaska. Uh, Mark Drenning, happy Valentine's to you and your lovely wife from Mark and Sandy Drenner. Thank you so much, Mark Drenning. And we have this traveler in the house. Happy Valentine's Day or night. Yeah, it's it's night. It might still be day in Hawaii, but uh, yeah. Uh, um, moderator to Lucky Dog. What? 
Um, Blue Thumbs Up, Friends, and Pepe La Pew, 75th birthday. All right, Stephen and, uh, and uh, Jaheim Lozano, uh, happy Valentine's Day. I enjoy your Pacific Coast video. What's the... That's the video that I was excited about. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful coastline, the, the California. Now Oregon is, is as beautiful. I was just previewing my... Because it's been so long that, you know, I, I, I had forgotten. Actually, uh, one of the nights where I'd stayed at... Uh, you know, you, you, I have to do a database with all the places that I've stayed because at some point it's, it's, uh, it's, gonna, it's all going to be a blur. But yeah, uh, the Oregon coast is going to be beautiful. McAllen, Redwood video was great. It was cool seeing you right next to some of those trees. And let me tell you, uh, the Redwoods, by the way, public, uh, it, it's coming out on Sunday. There's no way the camera is doing justice to, to, to the, the Redwood trees. It's impossible to convey, you know, just a, a, on a screen. Those, those trees were like like a 30-story high building, some of them. You know, and it's, um, it's quite a sight to see, actually. Uh, Brandon Stargold, uh, good evening, Robert and everyone. I, is, is the discount code for Micro Air still valid? I'm about to get one and install it along with my solar panels as long as some warmer weather arrives. Yeah, just type my RV at checkout. It should, it should be valid. My RV and... Uh, and they'll give you that discount and um, and I'll get a tiny little cut. <laughs> uh, Paul Brockton. Hey, Robert, I'm new to traveling in my RV. I've been following your journeys and I have enjoyed the way you describe the beauty of what you see. And uh, it's almost like being there. Um, I, I really enjoy and I learned so much doing this also, by the way. Um, I, I, I do learn, I have learned a lot because uh, as I do my research to show you guys and, and, and yeah. Uh, Papa finds felicidades, Robert, on 100,000. Any times, so, uh, any plans of attending the West Palm BRV show? I, I attended it, it passed already, right? This year. I attended it many years ago. That was my first RV show, actually. Uh, way back, probably in 2013, 2012. In the early stages of our of our planning because the first time i saw an rv was when my brother-in-law rented one and that was i was looking at that video uh, the other day that was either 2008 or uh, i think it was 2009 a pino 370 3507 thank you so much for that super chat and rebecca hernandez hi all oh, hi rebecca and um Rebecca, of course, was at our, our meetup in, uh, in, in Homestead, Florida, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Jean de Jong. Uh, hi, Robert. You have, you've got a nice camera on top of Minitini and on the Colorado. Is it a good idea to make a time-lapse YouTube video of your trips? I think that will come out great. This is what I'm going to do. And I have another channel. I don't care. It's, a, it's under the old Road Nomad name, and it's called... Uh, cynic and not so cynic drives and as soon as i can work ahead uh, on some of these videos that i'm so far behind I'm, I'm gonna kind of put like the raw footage of the road like i, I could do a, a, a raw footage of like the, the whole oregon coast maybe skipping a, you know sometimes the camera the battery died or something and sometimes it, it didn't or it crashed more than anything and sometimes it didn't record but i have like the whole oregon coast for the most part on that 4k uh, gopro on the roof so the real shadow you missed my message how much is uh, to rent an rv for a month also names uh wagvan pitfin love your videos keep up the good work well the last time i rented an rv which was 2014. Granted, we put a lot of miles on it, so uh, they do charge you for they they include a certain number of miles. But if you do more, you know they charge you for them. It turned out to be like like 200 bucks a day, um, and that was that um, with El Monte, our crazy RV life. Thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, hi Robert, do you know that uh, from Dylan that there are four teacher union are uh, teacher unions are going on strike February twenty first, uh, the week of your next live stream? I had no idea. I have no idea of that. Uh, that one guy, hello Robert from Portland, Oregon, one of the cities that I kind of skipped on this last uh, trip, but I'll be back. 
I know that you have visited a lot of the national parks recently. Can you tell which ones are your favorite? Well, to me, my favorite is it's still a, a, a Grand Canyon because it's one of those places that your, your mind just do, does not comprehend what you're seeing. Uh, but then there's other ones, of course, uh, Yosemite. It's uh, if you can get away from the crowds, it's like being inside the movie Avatar. It's one of those things, those waterfalls that it's 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 incredible. And uh, I I liked Yellowstone more than I thought I would like it, but not as not not, not as much as I mean it's it's beautiful, of course. It's it's incredibly uh, big. And the, the nature is, is really unique and amazing, but um, I wouldn't put it in my top five. I, I, perhaps um, I would go more for like Arches National Park or even Zion. Uh, those are the ones where I've, that I've been to. Uh, but uh, uh, definitely Grand Canyon and, Yell and Yosemite are, are up there. And I do want to visit Sequoia next year as well. Um, Andy... Barley, hello Robert. Are you planning on meeting at a brewery in the uh, do a Mid Atlantic meet up Mid Atlantic uh, like in Virginia or something like that? I, I I'm open to that to that maybe on my way uh, back because I, I don't think I'm gonna or Mid Atlantic like in Mid -Atlantic, Atlantic Florida. I don't know. I don't know exactly what area that would be. What has you, Olga Bilardi, what has you, ah, blah, 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 what has been your favorite place to travel in the U.S.? Probably it's still the Grand Canyon or the, there are many places. It really depends. And uh, what camera are you using for a live stream? It's a Logitech 9, it's the 920, I believe. It's a 1080p, although the live stream is only 720. It works well for what it is. It's connected directly to the computer, so yeah. Hi, Rich Live of Road Trips. Uh, hey, Red Jaguar. Happy Valentine's Day to Robert and my fellow Pelican heads. Happy Valentine's Day to you and Mary as well, man. And uh, I hope to see you. Hope to see you at some point again in the city of brotherly love. As they say, going places. Hitting Glacier this year. I hear it's awesome. I'm, I want to go to Glacier too. The, the thing is, in my plan, I might go too early in the year. But we'll see what, what we can see, and then we'll we'll go back uh, some other time. Uh, RV44, hey, thank you so much for that super chat. Hey, Robert, I'm Joaquin Polanco. Because of you, I started my channel to travel this beautiful country. All right, we'll check it out. We'll check out your channel, RV44. And... Uh, Adam Buser, well, you are driving on the West Coast uh, Highway. Did you have a chance to stop in Salem, Portland, Oregon, Olympia, Tacoma, and Seattle, Washington? I did stop in Olympia. I saw the capital I, from the outside. I didn't go inside. And uh, I saw Seattle. I was in Seattle. Actually, Illy joined me for that part of the trip. She flew to Seattle, and we spent wonderful time together, wonderful week together in seattle and we even went up to vancouver but it, it, it was kind of rushed so uh, at some point uh, by the way seattle worst traffic ever where it, it's worse it, worse than miami probably not i'm not as bad as some places in the northeast but it it was bad getting out of getting out of downtown and in rush hour traffic but i really liked uh, seattle uh, that one guy I know that you used to love Death Valley National Park. Do you go to Death Valley during the trip? This trip you used to like it. I forgot to mention Death Valley. Death Valley has also to be in top five. I'm sorry I forgot that one. Death Valley is is another place that you don't think that you're gonna like as much as you do when when you go there. So yeah. And the Crystal Hijazi from Australia. Down under. Hello. And uh, I can't wait to go to Australia. I want to I wanna go to Australia, rent a uh, an RV for a month. And I mean, it's a huge country, but uh, see as much as possible. 
Uh, Christopher Olson, thanks for tonight. I'm off uh, early today, uh, going to the lake early tomorrow. Have a nice evening. Same to you, Christopher Olson from uh, Sweden. And RV Frida, how are you? I'm back in Quartzsite, Arizona, where we met. Yes, and uh, I kind of miss going to Quartzsite this year. Uh, but I, I have so much so much work to get done on these videos here in Florida that, that I'm glad I decided to stay here in Florida. So, um, uh, yeah. Hopefully our paths uh, will cross again, uh, uh, Frida. Um, sometime, somewhere, maybe next winter. Um, Rosanna Bracciale. Hey, Robert, happy Valentine's Day to you and Ely. We are looking forward to seeing the Redwoods. Um, yeah, that's coming out this, this Sunday. It's a 45-minute video, so... You know, get your popcorn, sit down, and enjoy it. And uh, have you ever been to Chahokia near St. Louis? Not yet. Uh, Franzidel. And Har Haley family. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. You know, when I, whenever I start reading one of these and it goes off, the, uh, off screen, you know, it's a... Uh, I'm drinking a Terrapin IPA. What are you drinking tonight? Well, since it is Valentine's Day and I kind of have a date after this, I'm drinking some... Uh, has collection red wine from it's a California blend. Very nice, actually. And thank you for reminding me because my my mouth was getting dry. And we have Jim, our friend Jim from Ohio, uh, back to camper, but been watching via Barb's phone on the way back. You have a new subscriber that works the visitor center near here with uh, within minutes of a video. He said. Um, I must follow you. Cool. Thank you, Jim. And we have a, a super chat from Steve Halterman. Super chat. Happy Valentine's Day to you and Ileana from DSM. And thank you, Steve. Um, thank you. And um, play a little bit of your new songs here. Uh, see what they sound like. You know, I could probably play them actually no i can't i can't this this laptop doesn't have a cd player and i haven't imported the music yet as mp3s so uh next next week next week i'll play them actually let me see something real quick let me see if uh, they're already on spotify by any chance spotify is pretty quick at uh um launching the the album so where's uh open web player just let me play my music. Why do you make things so complicated? Search. Uh, Robert Morales. Uh, albums. No, it's still not there. Still not there, but I, 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 you see here I have at uh, Chrome. It's still not there, but it'll be. That's on Spotify. It'll be probably by Monday, the new album. And the, the new tunes, you, you, you've, you've probably heard them on some of the videos. There's, of course, finally the, the full version of Driving to the East. And I, I re, re remixed it and, and sang it again, made it sound a little better. And um, I re recorded the guitar and it looks, sounds, I think, sounds good. I have the new one, California Shuffle, that you've been listening in the past couple of videos. And, um, and some, some, of, some of them are really short incidentals, like uh, uh, one that I called uh, uh, Congress Avenue Bats. And that's the music that I, that, I, that, that I put in the background while the bats are coming out of the Congress Avenue Bridge in, in Austin. And on that same video, I composed one and I named it Lady Bird because it's the name of that lake in, in Austin, Texas. So downsizing makes sense. Hey, Traveling Robert, love your pics from Coral Gables. Thank you. Yeah, this morning I, I took one there in uh, Alhambra uh, Boulevard or Circle. I forget what it's called. And uh, yeah, that's my morning run. It was a good one this morning. John Chalker. Hello. Congratulations, uh, uh, Robert. Uh, Robert, taking your wife on a date. Uh, this is uh, John Chalker, Waterbury, Connecticut. I made a dinner in your honor of rat to we. I hope you didn't cook rat. Or is, uh, perhaps ratatouille? Like, like the movie, right? Ratatouille? And uh, what do we have here? I'm Waga, my brother. Was with me. And we wish you happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. Hello, bad boy. 
but boy mashups oh that's a complex a uh, complex uh, ascii art you have there uh, gvd1974 hello robert greens from germany hamburg we currently enjoy summer 2019 episodes and looking forward to seeing new ones new ones every sunday i'm, I'm trying to go as as quickly as possible here i i, I really want to show you guys uh, idaho you know and all the other stuff and and um and yellowstone and the grand tetons and all that stuff uh, Rigoberto Paula, hello there and hello from Slovenia, from Alenka. Thank you for your great videos and music. You're, you're very welcome. I'm Big Duke X. You can join us on 2021 road trip to Oz. We'll be flipping a coin to decide on which direction to travel first once we reach, reach Sydney. 21, 2021, I'm actually thinking Europe. Uh, we've, we've been thinking about a month in Europe, but it's, it's not written in stone by any means. Do you like uh, iPhone or Android more? I use an Android. I, I, I use. Uh, I actually like that new uh, Galaxy S20, but too much money for me. I, I mean, my my S my S9 still works perfectly. So yeah, I'm not gonna be uh, changing phones anytime soon. No, some sometime soon. You know, it's, it upgraded me to Android 10, and it's slower now. And it, it, I I tried not to upgrade it, but it didn't give me a choice. And uh, Amaranto Cabrera, hey, happy Valentine's from Nati and I to Ellie and you. Thank you so much, Amaranto. And uh, Oathkeeper, hello, and our crazy RV live, cool. Now I have to download Spotify. Uh, do you like Mike's Heart Lemonade? Um, never had it. Uh, Grand Teton on your list is coming up. I, I went there, made, made some great videos, so that's coming up. Plans to visit New Hampshire? Yes, definitely after Alaska. Um, do you see any bears on the summer trip? Yes, I saw a bear at Yosemite. A small bear. It looked more like a chow chow dog, but yeah. Uh, have you been to Tombstone? Yes. And the Desert Museum near Tucson? Uh, no, not to that one. Best Witches from the UK. Hello, UK. Um, Brianna Cavett. Hey, Traveling Robert, you are amazing. Please read this. I arrived and I did. Haley family, are you going to the Hershey show this year? Most likely. I'm gonna. It, it, it all depends how quickly I can get back from Alaska. Man, this is good. Dylan Reynolds, my first video I watched on your channel was the New York video. That was a while back. Was that 2011 or 2012? You know, I, my, my mind is not as sharp as it used to be, but that was that. That trip that I drove in the snow and I almost wrecked Kia. Don't tell anybody. But yeah, Kia was like a, like a sleigh ride. <laughs> Sleeping on the... <laughs> it's funny now in hindsight. Uh, the traveling Nate Dog. Yeah, put a solar panel in your RV. That's uh, very helpful. Mjorn um, Shudagon. I have finally watched the whole video. Three hours and 25 minutes from east to west. It was awesome. Um, um, you have to do another east uh, to west video. I have done like it's it's a series, but now you have to watch the west to east, which is another uh, three and a half hours or so. Um, in Vancouver, BC, what route would you take to the end of this wonderful trip? Route one across Canada or the Interstate Highway home? I'm I'm thinking Route one, the, the Trans Canada Highway, most likely. I've heard that it's kind of boring in the middle, but. I want to do it. Uh, Dennis Rees, when you go to Glacier, are you planning to see the Canadian side of uh, Waterton National Park? Uh, I don't know. Most likely, yes. I don't know how much time I'm going to have, but yeah. David Hogestin. Uh, hey, Robert, Dave from Crystal River here. Uh, um, closer to getting our toy hauler RV. Just wanted to ask, uh, uh, why are you look, why, uh, for a Class C RV? I don't like him. Too many issues. Um, I don't want to tow. I want to have a self-contained unit that I could park almost anywhere and just have one RV. I don't want to tow. So it has to be a, a small enough Class C that it's a daily driver. Like the one that I had in Europe, a little shorter even, that would be perfect. Um, that's that's the way I want to do at least for the next few years. I mean, uh, not right now. I'm going to keep uh, the, the trailer for another year or two. I don't know. But if, eventually I might change the travel style. Um, a little bit. 
Make sure you stop in Seward, Alaska, and say hi to Tim, the camp host. He's so awesome. I will. I will definitely. Uh, Seward is definitely on the plan, Frida. And um, me, uh, Momin, Elotol, me and my friends in the UK, we are trying to go on a road trip USA. How much do you think we need? Also, uh, starting for the whole month. Oh, it's you can make it as as cheaply or as expensive as you want. I mean, it's uh, uh, as far as time. There, there's never enough time. It's uh, I don't know. I don't know how to answer you, man. I don't know. I don't know how to answer it. Um, uh, muchas gracias, Manuel Castro. Fue un placer conocerte en tu casa. Gracias, Manuel. And uh, thank you. And uh, my wife just asked me to mention that she loves your long videos. So entertaining. Yes. And eventually, this is Treblera Waderb. And um, at some point, at some point, I do want to, um, the, the, all these uh, trips make long versions of them as well. But time is something. Uh, maybe I can find a, an editor to put them together. Uh, Robert, did you visit Big Sur back in 2012? Yes, I did. And I have a serious question. M Mjorn, uh, what Western states would you say are the best for safety? Living, visiting, thanks a lot. Uh, anywhere outside cities is very, very safe. Um, Utah, man. Utah, New Mexico. It, it all depends. I mean, there, there's good parts and bad parts in every state. So you just have to use your common sense and um, yeah. All right, everybody. I, as I said, this is gonna be a um, a short a, a short live stream. As I said, I have a date. Um, but uh, by the way, hello, Robert. Have you ever considered as use? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna get a CB radio and a, a satellite thingy and lots of stuff for the Alaska trip. Uh, that, that that's something that I have to read. CB radio, probably that one of those Cobra, the nice ones. And uh, if I can get my ham radio license before them, I, I, I might get some ham radio rig as well. But uh, favorite in Zion or Utah? Well, Zion is in Utah. Um, uh, if you're fine with your phone, keep it. Yeah, this phone is working fine. I could use a better camera, but it's fine. Uh, good evening from Provo, Utah. I, yeah, I, Provo, Utah. I'm gonna visit one of these days. That that was one actually some some very nice fellows from Provo, Utah. When we were at Goblin uh, State Park in Utah, um, they they saw that we were like eating junk food because we had run out of food, and and they offered us uh, some of their stew, which was delicious. A uh, van best friend, uh, Robert. Any good reasonably priced camping in the Keys? Any of the state parks, if you can get in. Uh, otherwise, it's it's all pretty expensive. Guys, I'm going to cut it short. Ili is waiting for me. I just wanted to say a happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Um, happy Thanksgiving. What's wrong with me? Cheers. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. And, um, and thank you for being here. Don't forget, if you want to check it out, travelingrobert.com slash merch. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for all the mail. Oh, I, I was going to show you something. Last thing. I just received this thing on the mail. This has been in the mail system for almost two years. And it, and they, it, just, it just got returned to me. I sent this originally. I don't know how this happens. This is like unfathomable. Um, 5 2018 In 2018, and I just got it returned to me uh, last week. But this is a like a relic. You know, I don't have a copy of this one. This is the CD that you know the from from two years ago. In any case, so much stuff I want to show you. So much stuff I want to tell you. But um, that'll have to be next week because. Um, <laughs> Driving to the east. Oh, I forgot the chords. Driving to the east. I'm going home. I have been away for too long. I'm riding, riding my RV. Wherever.
wherever I want to be Cause I'm free in my RV Yeah, I'm riding I'm riding in my RV Wherever I want to be Cause I'm free in my RV Alright everybody until next week, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. See you on the road. Happy Valentine's Day and um, also happy Friday. Let me see if I, if, I, if I can find my button here. Bye.